Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct. Thank you for joining our YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to test potentiometers on your mobility scooter to make sure that they're working properly. We have a speed potentiometer, speed control knob, and a throttle potentiometer that I took off of a GoGo -Go scooter. We disassembled the dash. Just takes a few screws, take it all apart, get your components out, and we Velcroed them to the table here. Now, before we get started, I just wanna mention two things. One, we have a new catalog. All you have to do to claim a copy of our free catalog is go to our website, mobilitydirect.com, click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog. Just fill out that simple short form and one will be in your mailbox within one to two weeks tops. I also wanna say that if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you're automatically entered into our giveaway. We're giving away a free mobility scooter every month. If you're not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Just hit that subscribe button and you're automatically entered. I'm gonna throw the last winner on the screen so that you can see it's legit and we'll be right back with you. All right, we're here. We're pulling up to the uh, Lucky Winners apartment building and we're gonna bring the scooter up to her door and we're gonna get the reaction on video. I'm pretty excited, this is awesome. I mean, we're giving away a mobility scooter to someone that truly needs it. Oh, thank you. We're you like the scooter? No, it ain't for me. I don't We're giving this. Scooter. I was going to say, you look like you can run a marathon. You don't need a scooter. No. We're actually giving this one uh, to one of the residents here on the third floor. It might be your Are neighbor. You yeah, yeah, they entered into a giveaway raffle and they won. That's why we're getting it on camera. Exactly. Oh yep. my gosh. I'm so happy for you. Hello. It's good to meet you. Scooter. This is the Oh, God bless you, you won. All right, so we're here with tissue. Gloria, and she's got her scooter that we're donating, and all she did was subscribe to our YouTube channel about a year ago. <laughs> I said it's a godsend that I got this. It's a miracle, really. I needed it desperately. Well, it's, it's something we're really happy to be able to do, Gloria. Thank and, you. And we really appreciate those kind words. and. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is subscribe. This is what we're doing here every six months. So if you know somebody else that could use one, please tell them about it. All right, welcome back and good luck if you subscribed. We're gonna go ahead and get started. A couple things you're gonna need. First is a multimeter that can test resistance with ohms. So on the multimeter, you're gonna have a dial and what you're gonna look for is this little symbol, which is like the omega symbol, which is for ohms. And what you wanna do for your throttle potentiometer is set it to 20K, okay? So now that it's on 20K, I'm gonna put it down right here. And the first thing you always wanna do is make sure your, your probes and your multimeter are working correctly. So when you're testing resistance, if you touch them together, you should get a zero on the screen of your multimeter, which is what we have. That's basically showing no resistance because we've closed the circuit here and there's no resistance between these two wires. So resistance is basically checking the flow of electrons and there's absolutely no resistance here. And that's what you want. So if you get a zero here, your multimeter is working good. Now on a throttle potentiometer, you've got three wires. What you want to do first is test the outside two connectors. So you want to get those probes in there on the outside two and as you can see, we have a reading of five on the multimeter, just about. And that's what you want to see, usually. Now, when you get the five, you want to now switch the probes from the outside two connectors so that you have one in the middle and one on the outside. Once you have that, you're going to want to test the swing, which is basically the range of resistance. So as we're Keeping those in there, I'm gonna swing the potentiometer throttle forward on one side and we're gonna see this number gradually increase from where it's at at the, the neutral position, which is 12.8. We're gonna slide it forward slowly. You see it's going up to 13.8, 14.8, and it's gradually going all the way up to the highest point, which is about 15.4. Now, if we go back down slowly, you wanna see a gradual decrease in the resistance. If it starts to zero out at any point, then you have a little dead spot 
and that means your potentiometer is faulty. So we're going to change the angle of the camera. The lights were reflecting a little bit. So hopefully you can see that with the probes in the middle position and the outside position, it's at 12.8. And if you start to test the range of the swing, pushing forward on the right side, it's going to go all the way up gradually to about 15.5, 15.4. And that's good. Now if we go back, it's going to gradually go down to where it was in the beginning, which is about 12.8. Now if we go the other direction, what's going to happen, instead of the resistance going up, it's going to go down. So if you test the resistance on the other paddle, pushing it forward, it's going down to about 10.4. And going back down, if we release it slowly, you see it's gradually climbing back up to about 12.8 where it was before. All right, so you start to see that these get a little loose. It's hard to push it in there and keep it in there. You don't want to bend the pins too much. But that's essentially how you test the throttle potentiometer. Again, you need to be at 20,000. Um, and that's the ohms setting, which is the, the little ohms icon there or omega icon there. So we've basically tested this and it works fine. There was no zero spots. There was no, you know, erratic change in the resistance and that's what you want to see. Now for the speed control potentiometer, we're going to do a separate video. So make sure you check out the link in the description to watch that one. But this video, we were testing the throttle potentiometer. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this has helped you learn a little bit more about how to troubleshoot your mobility scooter. I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct. Have a great day. Before you go, please don't forget to visit our website, mobilitydirect.com, and click on the green button that says Free Catalog to claim your very own free catalog. Just fill out the short form, and it should get to you in about a week or two max. I just want to take this time to personally thank each and every one of you for watching this video. We couldn't do it without our subscribers. So if you like our content, please go to YouTube, search for Mobility Direct, and subscribe to our channel. You can enable notifications. That way you'll get notified whenever we release new videos. We're constantly making great videos. We have tons of playlists that range from repair videos, unboxing videos, research and development, and much, much more. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and ask any questions in the comments section below. We love hearing from our audience, whether it's feedback, comments, or suggestions for a new video topic. We love hearing from you. None of this could be done without our loyal audience. We hope to hear from you. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day.